Nine years ago, a bank grants Mandy a loan of 525,000 Rand. The loan is repaid over 20 years, compounded monthly. Mandy's monthly repayments commenced exactly one month after the loan was granted. That's pretty normal. That's how it should be. Mandy decides to make monthly repayments of 6,000 Rand instead of 5,066. How many payments will she make to settle the loan? So guys, if Mandy, if Mandy wanted to pay her loan off in 20 years, then she was told by the bank to pay 5,000 and 66 rand. So that would have taken her 20 years, which is 20 times 12, which is 240 years. Okay, that's, I mean, whoa, 240 years. Jeepers, Mandy. I mean, 240 months. That's how long Mandy, that's how long Mandy would have taken to pay back her loan. Okay, but Mandy's feeling ambitious and brave, and she decides, I'm going to pay 6,000 Rand instead. Why not? I'm going to pay back more. Okay. There is a reason why you would do this in real life because the more you can pay back, the faster you can pay it back, and the less interest the bank will be able to charge you. Okay. That's the reason she would have done this in real life. Now, we want to now work out how many payments does she now need to make to settle the loan? So we're going to go use the present value formula because this is a loan and we typically use this formula with loans. Right. Now we know the loan amount was 525,000 Rand. We know that Mandy's going to pay 6,000 Rand. We do the, the interest rate, sorry, is 10%, which is the same as 0 0.1. You can write 10% if you want. I know a lot of you like to do it that way. And then we don't know how long this is going to take. So we're just going to leave it as minus N. Close the bracket over 0 0.1 over 12. Aha. Now you should know that whenever we end up with an exponent as the unknown, we're going to have to use logs. Sorry to tell you guys this, but we're going to have to use logs. Okay. So... What I would do next, now you can solve this in multiple different ways, but what I would personally do next is I would multiply this part up there and then I would divide by 6,000. Okay, then I would divide by 6,000. And so what we would get after doing those steps is the following. 525,000 multiplied by 0 0.1 over 12 divided by 6,000 equals to 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.1 over 12 to the minus n. By the way, I have mentioned this on my or on the online course, is that when you are dealing with financial maths, where the question wants you to calculate the number of payments, you cannot round off at all. It is um, it make it changes your answer quite a lot. So don't round off at all. So um, what we can now do is I'm going to quickly take all of this stuff. Um, oh, no, that's not good. I'm going to quickly rewrite everything over here. Now, we don't need these brackets anymore, uh, these brackets. Those brackets were only there to keep the 6,000 away, but that 6,000 has now gone. So we can take those brackets down. Okay, so we can delete and delete or erase. What we can now do, um, or what I like to do in these moments is I, I mean, you can do this in multiple ways. You can take this one over to the left-hand side. So that's going to give us this. Notice that I'm not typing anything in on my calculator because I don't, I don't want to have to round off or store values on my calculator and all of that weird stuff. I just want to keep it simple. Okay. I'm just going to erase a whole bunch of stuff now. Right. Now, um, 
what we can now maybe do is we could maybe type this in on the calculator. I just want to see if the answer is nice. Like, does it have a whole bunch of decimals or is it nice? Let's just check. Okay, it's minus 13 over 48. Don't write the decimal form. Keep it as a fraction like that. It keeps, it, it, it increases our accuracy. Okay, and then on this side, right, we can then get rid of the negatives because there's a negative on both sides. So we can just cross that out, cross out, cross out. And so now we can use logs. And so that would eventually give us n equals to log 1 plus 0 0.1 over 12, and then 13 over 48. And then you go ahead, you type that all in on your calculator, negative, and then that's a negative 157.40. So that means n is equal to 157.40. But they said, how many payments? So you can't make you can't make 157.4 payments. You're going to pay the bank 158 times. And the last payment will just be a little bit less. But you are going to physically pay the bank 158 times. Okay. After making monthly payments of 6,000 rand. So guys, remember that Mandy is a superhero. She was only supposed to pay about 5,000 rand a month. Remember guys, she walked into the bank and the bank told her, hello, Mandy, you only have to pay 5,066 rand. And Mandy just smiles at them and she's like, make it 6,000. And so Mandy's been paying 6,000 for nine years or whatever. Um, Mandy's required money to pay her for her daughter's university. She approaches the bank for another loan. So she goes to the bank, listen to this guys. She goes to the bank and she's like, hey bank, um, I, I need a loan for my daughter. She's going to university. All of a sudden the manager at the bank comes out of his office or his or her office and they say, um, hey, aren't you the Mandy that's been paying us more than you're supposed to? I'll tell you what, Mandy, we don't need, I feel like I'm reading you guys a story here. Um, I'm just trying to paint a picture for you guys. So um, the man at the bank tells Mandy, you don't have to take out another loan. You've been so good to the bank. You've been paying more than you're supposed to. How about we make you a deal? All of the extra money that you've been paying for the last couple of years, why don't we pretend that that was an investment? Let's see how much that would have been worth up till now. And we will give you that amount. Okay. And that's what this question's sort of doing. But now be careful. This question's not talking about the full 20 years. They just say, they just said that Mandy's been paying her 6,000 Rand for the last nine years. Okay. So for the last nine years, um, Mandy was supposed to pay how much was mandy supposed to pay mandy was supposed to pay uh 5066 rand and 36 cents 5066 rand and 36 cents however how much has mandy been paying mandy has been paying She's been paying 6,000 Rand. So how much extra has she been paying? Well, that would obviously be 6,000 minus 5,066.36. And that's equal to nine. So Mandy's been paying an extra 933 Rand and 64 cents. So the bank manager says, why don't we pretend that all of that money was an investment and let's see what that amount of money would have been worth, okay? So what we can do is we can see what is the future value that all of these 933 rands would have been from the beginning up till the nine year period. How much money would that have, how much money would that have grown to by now? The bank manager says, we will give you whatever that is, okay? So we're gonna use the future value formula. Okay, so we know that the monthly repayment is 933 and 64. And the interest rate 
uh, we will assume that it's the same as the loan. They don't really mention anything there. So that's just going to be 10% monthly. Okay. And that's only for nine years. She's been doing this for nine years. That's nine times 12. Like that. And so we can go calculate this now. And that means that that amount of money would have accumulated to 162,503 rand and 51 cents.